Okay. So this game um, was 120 moves. I didn't know that. Well, I sort of guessed it was. And this is the only move. Um, what move is this? This is move 49. So we're way less than half the game. At this point, you would think 90% of the game has been played. But it's only like 45%. It's probably less than 45%. 6088 subscribed. Hooray. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now in this position, <clears throat> what's funny is I saw this position and then I saw position two moves later, but I didn't see the position with the one... And that was actually the blunder. So when we were doing commentary, we thought this was a blunder. But that's not a blunder. And after I saw this position, and then I saw the next position where White's winning, but I didn't see the, the moves, the interim moves. I knew what they were, but I, I literally didn't care. So knight here and knight here are two moves that draw. So this is fine. Now, after takes, this is where Jeffrey blundered. He didn't blunder knight a4. This is where he blundered. And a lot of people just, you know, capture, you know, they make a move without thinking. Um, and probably when Jeffrey took, he mainly analyzed, you know, e6. And this is a draw. And I'm sure that he saw that this was a draw because he's Jeffrey. Uh, B4, you push one pawn. What's funny is pushing this pawn loses because black queens, white queens, and black plays queen B3 check. Okay, that's funny. Okay. And uh, queen A2 check. You can't go here because you lose your queen. So you go somewhere else. And you just keep getting checked. And if you ever go to the G file, I'm not saying you have to. But if you do, check takes, draw. If you don't go to the G file, I just check from behind. You, you need to go to the G file so your queen can block. If your queen doesn't block, I just check you forever. I mean, if your king's going here, your 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 queen's not blocking the checks. But if your king is here, then your queen's blocking the checks. Your king can never go here because check takes. So this is all zeros. White's White's not winning, and probably that's what Jeffrey was expecting when he played knight takes a knight when he played king takes b three, and in fact, knight c three check before taking the knight that does draw. And now, you know, you can't, you can't queen your pawn because you, you can't stop knight to d5. Once the king moves to any square, it doesn't matter where, I take this knight, your, your pawn's not queening because I, I can stop it. And the engine says this is a draw. But he blundered, king takes b3, and white only has one winning move here, and he thought a long time and he found it. So from here till the rest of the game... This was very impressive, except for the one move win that he missed. But he still won. So I, yeah, and obviously, if e6, knight check, that's the line we looked at. That's a draw. And you have to stop knight check. And king here is not a good way to do it because you're walking into all kinds of checks. And king here, that does win. And that's what he played. Yeah, and this, and this is winning. This is all forced. And in this position, which we looked at after King D4, me and Danya, Danya looked at this and he said, well, this wins. By the way, that move wins and every other move loses. And then, you know, you, there you go. You win. 
This is the engine line. It's, it's not good. And you take the knight. And you make a queen. And white wins. This is the game, but it's better than the game for white. Okay. So Jeffrey didn't like that. So Jeffrey played knight f6 check. Now, back when black played king d4, white played king d4, thanks pseudo Ryman, and he was explaining knight g7, I was thinking, what about knight f6? I was like, oh, king d8, g4, g5. And then I said, yeah, he plays knight f6, king d8, g4, g5. And Danya's like, yeah. And this was like seven moves ago. And in this position, we were waiting for king d8 resigns. But he played king e6. Now, king e6 also wins because after knight e8, you play king here, and then you play king d8. You, re you repeat, and, okay? And this is, I don't under, I don't, I'd have no idea why he didn't play king d8. The only reason not to play it is you don't see this very simple idea. That's the only reason. King moves somewhere here. I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So it's it's weird that he didn't do that. Okay. So instead he played uh, f4, and it's not clear this is winning because it's possible. I'm not saying it's true. It's possible that this move is bad. It's possible the king should go somewhere else. Um, and Danya sort of agreed with me, but we didn't analyze. We just. Yeah so that black has more checks and there's less checks that white can make the trade queens you're sort of getting your king out of the way of your queen and also when the king is around here there's less queen trades when the black king is here and you check a lot of interpositions of the queen are, are trading queens okay now right now the evaluation says that white's not winning but it'll probably change once we make some moves yeah, it already changed. Um, yeah, now in this position, black has three possible moves. Knight g7, knight c7, and queen. And the move that he played loses. Knight g7 loses. I'm not sure if the other moves lose. Um, probably, but I don't know. I, I literally don't know. I'd have to have Stockfish 14 look at it for like 10 minutes and then I would believe what it says because it would see, you know, like the next 30 moves. Um, but obviously with the players having no time on their clock, you do the best that you can, you know. Um, and he, he played Knight G7, which is what I predicted. And it seems like that loses. Now, knight c7, um, check, king d7, make a queen, and then we queen the f pawn, the only move that probably wins. And, yeah, the engine says this is the only move. And then you don't have to take the knight. King c8 is another move. It's not clear which is better. I mean, I'm guessing he would have taken the knight. And then I don't know if this is winning or if this is just a draw. I'm not sure. It seems to me that we're going to transpose. The king's going to walk over to the king's side, and then that's like what happened in the game. It's going to be the game position. Yeah, so I think it does. it literally doesn't matter. And you could also queen here, and then they take, and you hope to perpetual them. And this must be the Consuela version, because it says no, 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 no perpetual. Yeah, it just immediately says the game's over. No, no perpetual. I, I can't argue with the machine. It says plus 61. All right, so knight g7. And now there's only one move that wins for white. And that move is to queen this pawn. 
and the knight is trapped. And you don't really want to move the knight anyway because the guy queens. And if you play knight h5 check, king g5, like that's it. There's no play here. Okay, so he checked, which is the engine move. And then he kept checking. The only way for white to escape the checks is to give this pawn away. Now, earlier I showed you a position with the white king here and the black queen here. And what's going to happen is the king is going to walk over and we're going to get this position anyway. So this is going to happen anyway. So they didn't do anything. And now if he moves this king, it's going to be three-time repetition. Or if he plays queen f8, I mean. So now he gives his pawn away. The only check is to take it. And then we go king g8. And then we repeat some more. We've had this position already. And finally, king g6. And this position seems to be winning. And the main reason it's winning is because this move immediately allows a queen trade because the king is on c4, which I wasn't a fan of earlier. And now if the king goes to this rank, queen g5 check wins, and this rank, queen g3 check wins. And just, just so you understand, in this position, white has one winning move, king g6. In this position, white has one winning move, king g7. Now, now it's easy. Now you win by one tempo, because that's the most fun way to win. Maybe there's a more fun way. Zero tempos. So because you can't take on g2, you're losing, and it takes a lot of patience for white to win. But you, you can't take on g2, so eventually you block the checks with your queen and your pawns. He was repeating a lot, because always repeat. And now it just, you know, it takes a long time to win, and he did. No stalemates. Right. The problem is, if you play the Eric Rosen-esque queen c7, I just don't take it. Now, what Eric Rosen would do in an online game, but this is not an online game, this is real life, is he would go here, the guy would take... And then the guy thinks you're going to take, so he pre-moves something, but you go here, and then when he makes his pre-move, it's stalemate. That's what Eric Rosen would do. But that doesn't work in a real game. Like King A8, King A8 the, the guy sees it, he's not pre-moving. So that's unfortunate. And it just takes, you just have to be patient and slowly but surely win. Don't call me surely. Yeah, there's no stalemate. So, and I think he resigned here. No, he didn't. And here he resigned, yeah. So, I mean, King G8 would have won really quickly. And he, he, he was winning the whole time, I think. I think so. And it's possible the engine and or table base, I don't know. It's possible, I don't know, that... It's going to say king c4 was the losing move. And that was in this position. It's possible we can draw a queen and pawn ending if our king is somewhere else. I don't think so. I think it's still winning. But this move, I think, was just wrong. Because that, that makes it tough for black to avoid a queen trade. You want your king far away so your queen has more squares to check. But I'm not saying that this loses and other moves draw. I think they all lose. But I don't think this gave him the best chance. Later in the game, Jeffrey correctly found that he should move his king away once the checks were exhausted. Yeah, in this position, that's the end of the checks. You can't play this check or this check because queen here check. And you can't, if you play this check, then g3 and there's no checks. Now, if white, if black's king was where I wanted it, away on the a file, then you could play queen here check or queen here check. But you can't now because this is check. I'm not saying he would have drawn. I'm just saying I think it was better. And 
Grandelia should have played King D8 and G4. But otherwise, I mean, Grandelius was like always winning, just took a thousand moves. What's funny is when we do the live commentary, I literally don't care how long it takes. The longer it takes, the more money I get. Paid by the hour. Those guys have other shit in their lives. So like the guy who's the producer, he's got to go do stuff that's not chess related. And Danya has all kinds of chess stuff to do. So when the game goes on and on and on, those guys are choking on their own rage. If this game had gone five more minutes, Danya would have left and it would have been just me. That was already agreed. Danya had to go. But it ended just in time for Danya to give his 10 chess lessons. They were busy. All right, gawking rabble has spoken. Ten centidues, hooray. The Queenie Four drawing line. Uh, what? Queen E4. Let's see. I'm trying to think when Queen E4 was legal. Not here, because Queen G4. Is Queen E4 drawing here? Is that what you mean? Is it this position? Move 77. Ah, oh, you're saying this move draws. Oh, yeah. Danya said... The engine said that was the best move, but nobody would play it. Because, yeah, obviously, moving your queen back, that makes more sense. The table base says this is a draw. So the engine that doesn't have the table base wants to sack this pawn. Queen here, queen here, king g7 takes. Obviously, that doesn't matter what the engine wants, because the table base is the table base. Now, Danya said queen e4 was the best move, but that doesn't mean that it draws. It just means, now, if he was using the table base, all right, so I'm going to use the table base because that's, that's the kind of guy I am. I got to kill time somehow. Um, okay, so... I guess the position's there. Dun, dun, dun. All right, and black to move. Queenie four check is a draw, says the table base. That is correct. Wow. Queen e4 is a draw. Yep. That is correct. Well, that's too bad. So that was the so so after that he wasn't drawing ever. Man, truth hurts. Man, harsh. Man, the, the engine without table bases doesn't like queen e4 very much. It likes queen h5. But table base is all that matters. It's already been figured out. So table base is all the way to the end of the game, every legal move. The engine only sees, you know, 20, 30, 40 moves ahead. Terrible. By the way, if he had played queen e4, it doesn't mean he would have drawn. It means that with perfect play, it's a draw. He still could lose, you know. Right, let's see, what's Matt Larson saying? That's actually funny. So Matt Larson hasn't played a live tournament in two years. So he played in a local yokel event where he would just win all of his games to practice. He hung a piece for no reason against an 1800 
and was just dead lost, but he ended up winning, and he said his opponent was crying after the game because they lost to Matt. Yeah. yeah. So, Queen E4 is a draw with perfect play, but it doesn't mean that he would have drawn. It just means he should draw if he plays perfect every move, which is virtually impossible. So we'll never know if he would have drawn, but yeah, White White did mess that up. So he had one move that drew, and then and then White was winning after. Truth hurts. Uh, yeah, fifty fifty made it. Table bases are integrated into some of the engines, but not not on chess.com. No. It does take up a lot of space. Yeah. Again, it's not necessarily relevant for the result of the game. It's more of a, a theoretical, you know, so you know, but not, not practical. Like, it, I wouldn't call queen h5 a mistake because there's no way to know that queen e4 draws and queen h5 loses. Only the table base knows. Even, like, the top engines don't know unless they use the table base. Because they can't see far enough where they know. Yeah. Etc. Lee Chess has a table base. Go Lee Chess. Chess.com's analysis board has a table base now. Where? Is it under settings? What? Let's see. Live analysis. Where is it? Well, I can't play it because it's both sides have five legal moves every morning. I mean, you know, you go, you just go to the internet, go to a table base, and put it in and see. Uh, might need to be in beta, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not. I haven't done. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not on the cutting edge. <laughs> 